Hello, Pegasi tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 4 with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we rushed our force back from uh, Anfini Castle all the way down to the choke point in the ravine to fight off the uh, force of Augusti. We also started doing some warp and return shenanigans to send Evans back down to our home base so that eventually... When uh, Aaron and her squad get there, he's ready to recruit them. Uh, we might want to send a couple more people down to provide some blocking powers, but for now, I think that's okay. We also have good old Arden. Don't forget Arden Boy doing all kinds of work with his pursuit band. <laughs> Super helpful. So, uh, other than that, let's see. What's the plan for this episode? Well, Ballista's... Pegasus and holding the line is kind of the main objective at the moment. We also need to decide finally if we're going to go rescue these two villages at any point, even though they're in sleep range. Uh, for now, though, let's deal with the uh, current problem, which is this commander. Beowulf took a pretty big hit last episode, so be a little bit careful with him. And anybody else? Alec took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. So Alec has double... And he's got a speed of zero with a lance, which is not enough to double a sword, so forget that. I guess if he uses his sword, though, he's faster. He's got a higher base speed, just, you know, lances doing lances. I could get him this kill and then pull him back out of the way. Oh, he even dodges. Good job, Alec. Definitely necessary. Alright. So we're just going to pull him a little bit out of the way. Because I won't need too many people to block up this path, honestly. We can use Sigurd and Quan for that. And optimally, we'll stay out of range of the Ballista. So if I do make a blockade, it might be somewhere around here. I could probably do... I could do it with two people, actually. Just one, two like that, or one, two diagonally. This person could get hit by two sides. But they're calves, so they're going to canto in anyway, so... Okay. Um, let's just move Latches, Rakazaka, Rakalaka, Ding Dong over. I probably should have healed Beowulf with her because they're supposed to be making lovey, kissy noises in the background. Now, Sigurd is already pretty high level. I don't really need to rush him in there necessarily. Although, getting those, uh, leadership bonuses. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna have him attack. But I will we'll take the 10% uh, the hit rate. So Finn, level 12. Noish, level 11. Beowulf, he's new, so he hasn't had a chance to really shine yet. Uh, I think what we do is we use Archer powers to weaken the boss. Maybe get a crit, but probably just weaken him. Oh yeah, javelins. <laughs> Alright, well, Madeir has no time for javelins. That's fine. <laughs> uh, it's easy to forget. Alright, so I'm not going to push into this line because, you know, I don't want to stand in the Ballista range. So we're just going to... I'm a little bit low on healers in range right now. and I, I've got uh, no Ethlyn, no Aideen, and Rakuzi's already kind of wasted her turn. So i got to use people who are tanky up front. This guy is able to do 23 damage. You know what? Tanky sounds like my boy Arden. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> but there you go. Arden's ready to fight. We'll, uh, we have lots of people ready to fight next turn. And honestly, these uh, this wave of cab is going to get slaughtered. They don't have any... Like, they only have swords, so there's no javelins to worry about this time. I probably could do some chip damage here like I, I could have done more I definitely could have done more I could have done some cantoing away hit, hit them and run back kind of stuff but I don't care it's fine so uh let's see I guess what I'm thinking is that if I if I give up on the 8,000 gold I might be able to get Ethlyn all the way around and into the action before the map is completely over. 
Or I could just leave her over here where she might be able to help. All right. All right. I don't know if this is the smartest thing I've ever done, but I think the best chance of Ethlyn doing anything productive will be to leave her on the side of this cliff and threaten the enemies along that wall. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to be careful. I forget. I should check Ballista range. Yeah, okay. So the Ballista kind of cover her, so that's maybe not the best idea. If I can clear out the Ballista, then Ethlyn can can threaten. Although it's possible the AI will be like, well, we know that someone with magic could kill us here, so we won't move here anyway. And that might still help a little bit, because they might not consider, well, if she does that, she gets put to sleep. But, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. Alright, meanwhile, in Castle Evans. So we're gonna try Deirdre in the castle to try this arena. Now she should hit we, we worked it out. She's gonna take 16 damage, which which will put her at 15 or 5 HP, which should give her 60% additional void. Which is not enough to make her invincible, but it's enough to make the enemy pretty low odds, I believe. Well, from 96 down to 36. So if she gets two hits, she should win, but she missed, so I don't know. 30, 36%. And she has, to, she has to dodge doubles, so... I think she could win like this, but she's not doing very well so far. And that's assuming I've got the Miracle Math right. Alright, she got one hit, but she's missed so many times. Ah, Deirdre. Alright, well, I tried. So unless I can get her to less than... So that was... If she stays here, she recovers 5 HP per turn. So she's always going to go 16, 21. Maybe if I put her on the castle tile here. Just going to move Lewin a little bit out of the way. And no one else... Uh, no, I didn't bring any healers back. Oh, also, before I forget... I can't... I can't change... <laughs> I can't change animations while she's in the castle. Oh, well. well. We'll turn this off eventually. At some point. By the end of the game, we'll turn Sylvia's dance animations off. Alright, level up for the dancer. Let's see how she does. Yep, that's about right. Nothing. Alright, so I don't know exactly how much we regenerate on the castle, but we're going to try that instead of being in the castle. I think you regenerate more on the throne, maybe. Ira doesn't really have anything specific to do. Uh, to, she doesn't have anything to do with do. Um, he could give money to somebody, I suppose, but... Does Syl I don't know if I'd ever buy anything with Sylvia, though. Like, what, is she, what, would, what would I buy with her? Nothing comes to mind, anyway. There might be a good reason to give her cash, but... Alright, here comes Augusti. You fool! You dare to engage the Lord Sigurd? For two damage? I should have equipped him with the Iron Sword so he didn't kill these guys, but oh well. Hey, we're just ranking up that Silver Sword so it gets critical one day. That's what I'm really doing. Really, these guys are all going to just suicide? I feel like... Well, I guess they had... Uh, no, they could have attacked Arden. Oh, well. They're, they're, they're lost. Well, that's not a very good level up, Sigurd. Come on, buddy. I do like how tanky Sigurd is becoming. Also, I think it's just these Iron Sword guys are really weak. Like, keep in mind, Iron Swords don't do very much damage. So, a reasonably defensive knight does pretty well. Hey, this guy went for Arden. Good job. Arden cannot double him. So, so far his Pursuit Ring has done him almost nothing. Ooh, wait, is that a kill for, um... Ethelin? Maybe she can do some shenanigans here. Okay, so... 
5 HP. Same as inside the castle. Well, that's unfortunate. That means she's never going to be able to win that arena. So she, she, she regenerates 5 no matter where I put her right now. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll deal with the castle later. So first off, I just want to see here. Yeah, look at this. So we can get 16 damage with uh, Ethlyn. Now she doesn't really need the kills per se, I suppose. Because she's got pretty good levels already. But we can certainly do a little bit of chip damage. Not, I mean, it's super not mandatory. But hey, what else are we going to do with her? Oh yeah, she could crit too, technically. We've seen that before. Alright, good job, Ethlyn. Putting that sword to use. Alright, so this guy is totally dead. I guess I really should talk about how I'm going to deal with these uh, Ballista here. Uh, first off, how do we kill the level 14 sword commander? Um, Jemka, maybe? Just someone who hasn't had a lot of work. Olin could get a level up out of it. Sigurd, man. You're getting up there in levels. Finn, I like. He's got a uh, pair... No, he does not have... Who's got... Yes, he has... No. <laughs> Who's got Paragon? Is it uh, just Lex? Yeah, just Lex. So he's a higher level because of Paragon. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, Beowulf. Um... Now, he can't take a counter right now. No, counter will kill him. Let's look at speeds here. He's got 8 speed attack. Versus 10. So he will not double. I mean, I'd kind of like to get Beowulf to kill. Because he's kind of my lowest level Cav. Uh, but he's going to need healing. And then we're going to have to chip the, the boss down a bit more. So... 20 damage. That should bring him into range. Now, if we get an Adept here, that'll kill it. But, you know, whatever. Of course we get the Adept. Quan, you're too strong. Alright, well, forget that plan. <laughs> Let's, uh... Who, who, who should I focus on healing? Arden doesn't really seem that important. I think it's more important to hear, heal Beowulf. And I gotta figure out what I'm doing with these, uh these ballista actually well okay I'll put it here he's not really the guy I want charging into the ballista fire even even healed up he's not really the right one because remember we, we can do a little bit of basic math here um, ballistas will do 17 damage minus your defense which means against some people, it's almost nothing. Like Quan or Sigurd. Uh, honestly, Medir doesn't take very much damage. Most people don't take too much. But, you know, there's a lot of Ballista. So the question is more, can we go up this route? I'm actually pretty sure Jamka can, but I don't know if anyone else can. So if uh, you can't do it, Jamka can. I don't think horses can move through thickets like 100%. Almost 100% sure. So we might be a little bit stuck here for a minute. Meanwhile, in the castle... Um, what, what did I decide? I decided that Deirdre was not going to... get to the right HP level, no matter what I do. Do! Should we try him in the arena? He's got... There's no way, right? He's on, um, the Lance guy. I think, I don't think he's got any way to kill them. We could try Sylvia in the arena. <laughs> I mean, technically, technically, she's got Miracle. She's also got no stats and a very weak sword. She'll get more experience dancing, but she could actually arena then dance. So it doesn't even really matter. All right, let's see how she does. I mean, she's got weapon advantage, right? 10% to get hit. She dies in two hits. She kills in uh, a lot. She actually has pursuit of all things. Okay, she already got hit by 10%. That's great. 
She won! That's probably the only one she's gonna win, though. I can't imagine she's got any chance, right? She doesn't have any, like, resistance. It just comes down to avoision. Ava avoision. Avasion. Avoision. So she dies in two hits. She kills in... Um... I guess it's possible she could win this, but she needs one more lucky dodge. Ooh! Sylvia! Master of the arena. Okay, okay. But can she get further than do? It's because when she's below 11 HP, she doesn't get that miracle avoid. I'm not calculating that in. Okay, so now she's got 80 extra avoid, which means he can't actually hit her. Good old lovin'. <laughs> Miracle's doing a lot of work today. Alright. Well, I guess the truth is, if you've got Miracle and you can do one damage, you're better than do. Uh, magic, luck, resistance. Interesting. <laughs> okay. But the next one up is the Speedy Myrmidon, and he's very accurate. So I would be surprised if she somehow pulls this one off. Alright, he does 20 damage. That puts her at 9, which is not right. So she needs to be at 60% uh, bonus evasion. We need to get her to about 5 HP. It's possible at... If she goes in not at full, but at like... What did he, what did he do? 20 damage? So if we let her heal up to 21, she should be fine. Yeah, for sure, actually. It'd be nice if Deirdre could heal, to be honest. Okay, well, I mean... Why wouldn't you use the arena when you can, basically, is what I'm thinking. She'll get 10 XP per turn from dancing. And, uh... That's about it. Now, I believe... Like I said, I think you get love points inside the castle. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you get love points in there. So I want to keep the guys away from the girls, because if they're not supposed to match up, then uh, I don't want them to. But these two I do want to match up, so they can hang out. Otherwise, there's no need to be inside the party. Although the uh, Pegasus are getting closer. We need to start thinking about that, too. Probably three more turns, at least. Alright, so. Ballista. How, how, I, keep, I keep not dealing with the Ballista. I wish I knew for sure in advance if they would disappear after we take the castle. Because you could tank it out for a couple turns and rush the castle with Sigurd, but... We can't hit them from this road at all. So I really need... We're going to find out next turn if Jamka can move through here. If Jamka cannot, then I don't think anyone can. Because he's the most foresty of all of our units. Now, maybe what you're supposed to do is wait till you get Aaron recruited. But then you'd need... How would this even work? Do we really have to send someone all the way up the long way, the back route? Ew. I don't think we can, though. Like, this guy is stuck. There's a plane here, but there's a mountain to every side. So, like, how would you even get there with a foot unit? I don't think that's actually possible. So I want Deirdre. Yeah, that I just did that so she'd end her turn. Actually, you know what? It's kind of gonna waste. Hold on, hold on. Um... We're getting real tricky here. <laughs> what I want to do is turn these animations off so we can dance from the menu. And we'll just, we'll keep getting our experience, but I don't want to watch that every single round. Alright. Keep, keep them away from Dew. Keep her away from Dew, though. <laughs> Alright, now, um, good news is Aideen's almost here, so she can help heal. Aideen is supposed to be friends with, uh, Midir anyway, so that's good. Keep them close. Now, like I said, I think Quan. 
I wonder if we could activate these guys and then still get out of range. Because I think... Because Quan takes so little damage from the Ballista. Two damage per shot, I believe. He could definitely take it for a turn or two. If we healed him up. Should probably heal him up. But I'm thinking maybe what I plan to do here is lure... While I slowly find a way to deal with the Ballista, maybe we try to lure some enemies down via Cav Shenans. How do I want to do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's a lot of roads. So one road. This is all road. One, two, three, four. Not road. Five, six, seven, eight. So every single tile is a road except one. So that'll give him, like, almost the maximum range, which is definitely more than nine. Uh, nine moves with eight of them being a road. Eight times seven is 56, which means that's essentially... What did I say? Eight, eight road tiles times seven is 56 divided by ten. So 5.6 movement plus one plane tile, 6.6. .6. So when he throws his javelin, he's at 6.6 .6 out of nine. On road tiles, he's got 7.38. He's got three three road tiles left. So from here, he can go one, two, three. That will put him out of range. No, in range. Okay. Quite a few enemies. So instead of javelin and retreat, I want to put him just in range of, say, this guy. And then the, the ballista can hit him. And uh, this guy can hit him. Okay, that's the plan. Put him right here. We'll give him, uh, I guess th this gives him a little bit more avoid, so we'll go with that. We'll see if this guy takes the bait. I'm actually going to move Sigurd up a little bit, just so he gets the, uh, the, the evasion. It doesn't really matter, but, you know. Okay, remember, the line for Ethlyn is essentially right there, or else she gets hit by Ballista. And she doesn't really have tons of defense. She would take, uh... What am I looking at? 18? She, she would take 8 damage per Ballista. That's a bit much. Alright. This is definitely going to add to the turn counter a little bit. Mostly because I don't really know how to handle this, uh... This choke point. We're just going to have to experiment a little bit to figure this out. Alright, we're going to see a lot of Ballistas firing. They've each got about a 57%, probably... But even if they all hit, the math just doesn't matter. Well, the math matters. That's that's why I know I'm safe. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. Alright. Aaron's getting pretty close. Gotta be careful now. I gotta start planning that out right now. And that guy didn't attack us. The dude did not move. So maybe from here... Quan could move up, hit him, and then get back. He'd take another round of Ballista, but like I said, it's going to be about 10 damage if they all hit. He can definitely tank that a couple turns and then get healed. We're now just out of range. Unfortunately, Aaron's at the back of the pack, which is not what I want. So I'm going to put a save down, because I really don't know how these Pegasus move. Um... It's possible if I put um, Lewin in the, the, the guard tile, he'll actually kill them. But it's also possible that... Well, no, she can't talk to him from there anyway. I don't really know what I should do. I guess we keep everyone just out of range for this turn. And then we plan to dance Lewin up to talk to her. And hopefully we've got enough people to maybe kill them if we have to. Or at least kill one or two, right? Like, Yeah, that should be fine. I don't know if there's any downside to killing her Pegasus. Maybe they join you or something, but... Hopefully this works out. Lewin is certainly not a captive, anyway. Alright, also, important alert lesson. Yeah, we cannot go through thickets at all. So that idea is squinched. So I really don't have any way of dealing with these Ballista at the moment. I don't think there's any way for foot units to get there. Unless you can burn it down. As will go burn the forest down. Come on, bro. 
you know, not like it matters, but we can give 10% more evasion here with a little, uh, a little trickery. There we go. Now, Quan gets charm and leadership. <laughs> Why not, right? Um... This is definitely slowing down a little bit. I apologize for anyone who's in a rush, but... <sighs> Just gotta take it... Take it slow. Maybe I'm overestimating the threat of the Ballista. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna do Quan's stab and retreat. Oops, forgot about that. I just feel like it's not gonna be terribly productive. I mean, maybe we can just let the blister run out of ammunition. <laughs> I've done that before in some of them. I don't know if these guys actually have ammunition, but in uh, like the Game Boy Advance ones, they've got 15 shots. So we just stay here for 15 turns. That sounds fun. All right, they didn't do the full move again. Ah, this is, this is all the unknown. So Lewin, it's got six move. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I have to kill two of them. And dance him. Can he one, like, okay, so if, if he stands here, here, we can dance him. But he'd have to kill one, and so would, uh... Ira, but Ira can only make it to here. Now, keeping in mind, we can we can multi dance, so we, there's ways around this. This is kind of funny. I'm trying to recruit her by killing her army. Now, okay, first off, is Lewin able to even do this? Twenty damage. He's got an effective speed of sixteen. Oh yeah, they've got negative a ton of speed. Javelins though, so we gotta be a little bit careful, but very very low speed. So that means Ira will definitely double them, no doubt about it. She can do... Oof, 27 damage times 2. Yeah, she'd wreck those guys. So these these Pegasus aren't that tough. So the main thing would be to kill 2 and then... Be able to get... So maybe what we'll do is have... Like, Ira could kill 2. Like, if I move her, kill, and then move... Do, uh, Lewin to this tile. Then we have Sylvia stand here, dance for both of them. Ira kills, steps here, kills another one. And then Lewin moves up and recruits. Maybe there's a much easier way to recruit Eren without killing all of her Pegasus, but I don't know what else it is. We could go the... L we could just walk over and recruit <laughs> Blue, you could just go this way. You don't have to kill all the Pegasus. There's no bonus experience in this game. You come to my castle? You come to my castle? You think that I'll let you get out of here alive? That's not happening. They're not even worth, like, any experience. Or what are they, like, level 1 or something? <laughs> level 3. I almost feel bad. <laughs> but I don't really feel bad. Alright. This way... I figure the, the the value of this is we get to show off multi-dance. Right? I think, yeah, she gets the same amount of experience, but... So all this does is give Ira a couple kills. <laughs> but, totally worth it. Oh no, she took some damage. She'll be fine. I guess it would have been nice to steal some money with Dew, maybe, but... Yeah, three grand would have been worth it, but... Just didn't work. All right, here you go. Wait, Aaron, the hell are you doing here attacking me? Oh, it can't be. Aren't you Prince Lewin? W what exactly are you wearing? <laughs> well, this, uh, I'm a bard now, dear. Walking the land, spreading songs and cheer. What do you say, perfect or perfect? Oh, I missed her line. She was probably impressed. Aren't you supposed to be held captive at Evans? I got here as fast as I could, but... Uh, imprisoned at Evans? <laughs> Am I? Where'd you hear that one? King Chagall told me. Chagall? Ha! 
I hate to break it to you, Aaron, but you've been duped. It's nice and all that you're so ready to trust, but you wouldn't last ten seconds in the city. Ah, it'd eat your eat you and your innocence alive. You might even end up like Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, my lord. Oh, the Sylvias are... Uh, it's not important. Point is, what are you doing all the way out here? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to bring you home, my lord. It's been two years since you fled Celeste. Her majesty is gravely worried about you. Please, my lord, come on home with me. Do you have any idea what that'd do to Celeste, Aaron? If I go back, I'll have no choice but to take the throne. It's my late father's will, but my uncles would never accept it. Just one false step and we'll have a civil war, just like here in Augustria. And it's always the common folk who suffer. If there are people who want to be kings or whatever, great! Out here, though, I'm free, and I like it that way. I don't want a thing to do with the throne. For the good of Celeste, just give it to the uncles. I can't allow it, my lord. You know as well as I that the kings of Celeste must bear descent from Forseti, the wind god. You, my lord, are the sole living scion of his lineage. Neither of your uncles bear it. You, my lord, are Celeste's future. Yourself and your uncles aside, all Celeste wishes to see you claim the throne. And... And your mother, the queen, was in tears when she sent me. Please, my lord, come back. <sighs> Aaron, don't you start crying. Oh, give me a break. I just can't stand to see a woman in tears. Okay, fine. I'll think about it. Just uh, give me some time to muster the nerve, all right? Thank you. In that case, I'm staying with you until you're ready, my lord. I'll send a messenger back to Celeste to report that you're safe with all the Pegasus knights you just killed. Wow, you're pretty persistent. I'll grant you that. All right. I think I'll stay with Sigurd's army for now. He's a pretty neat guy. I haven't even talked to him, but he seems like his friends tell me he's neato. Not to mention his army's full of beauties. Hey, Eren, you could stand to get to know some of the ladies here. Maybe their stylishness could rob off on you. Mm. Yes, my lord. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, Eren. Relax. Don't take everything so seriously. <laughs> Nobody in the world's as sweet as you. Don't even change. Don't ever change. Yes, sir. I mean, no, my lord. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there, her Pegasus. Okay, so, I mean, we could have kept them alive or not. It's whatever. So, let's say hello to Eren, who's um, our one and only so far Pegasus. She's got Pursuit. That's good. She's got B Sword and B Lance, so we can give her better weapons if we find any. Pretty high speed, pretty standard Pegasus. A little bit higher resistance than average, so a bit of a mage killer, like often is the case. And uh, yeah, not bad, I'd say. A little frail, but honestly, 9 defense compared to our garbage cav. Like, you know, it's not much different than... Uh, he's not garbage. Garbage cav. Yeah, she's got the same defense as green cav. And uh, one less than red cav. So you can't even really say she's frail. She's the same as them. And, uh, also flies. So, you know, flying's pretty cool. I guess the downside would be she won't get the road bonus. So she actually doesn't move... At 8 movement over the roads, some people would actually be faster than her. Like, Cav will be faster. Mind you, she can take shortcuts. So it probably balances out pretty closely. So with that, I mean, I could put her in the arena before we fly her off. I kind of am interested in whether or not she can actually uh, take out this... Or maybe there's some sort of hidden event where, like, you kill this guy. And, uh, she could probably kill that guy. Um, and then these guys, uh, you know, disappear. Oh no, we're being attacked from behind! And they run away kind of thing. Unfortunately, there's no rescue dropping in this game. Like in, uh, in the Game Boy Advance ones. Or, uh, uh Path of Radiance, I think, had something like that. So I can't use the Pegasus Knight to pick people up. Which is what I was originally thinking was, well, I could just ferry over like one dude and they'll trounce all these ballista but that's not really an option this time around no no none of that so i think i will send her to town i don't know we'll just put do up here it doesn't really matter get some get some love uh so we'll send her to the arena see how she does and then it's gonna take a couple turns we'll eventually we'll eventually try to get through this blockade 
I'm gonna pull back for turn, heal him up, and then maybe... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wasn't able to bait out the Armor Knight, so that didn't work. I might just be stuck waiting till uh, our Pegasus Knight is ready to go. Which is kind of annoying. I mean, I feel like we could probably push through, but man, some of our frail units will just take so much damage. So I can only really put in people with like, you know, 14 or so defense. And that means all the experience here is going to go to Qu Quan and Sigurd. Which is really not what I want. I'd like to find a better strategy than just brute forcing it, so... So, in that said, I'm going to, you know, spend a little bit more turns to try to come up with a better solution than just rushing through with Sigurd. Because I, I feel like that's just the default answer to everything is just send Sigurd in all alone. He'll be fine. Also, somebody's got a defense ring, so they've got pretty high defense. Um, they could also tank it. Uh, was that Lex I think I gave it to? Yeah, he's got 19 defense, so he'll only take one damage. He's almost actually better than Quan at this. Mind you, weapon triangle, but yeah. Well... Quan has the advantage of plus one movement, so that's a pretty big advantage. Okay, I'm going to try this time with Quan to stand here and lure out one of the sword guys. And I guess an archer. But only one sword guy and one archer. Not even the mage. So we're going to stand in this tile here with Quan. Wait, what is it? The tile with the little nubbin on it. In the uh, professional circuit, we call those nubbins. Now, I'm also going to... For funsies, I'm going to put Sigurd in range of Ballista to provide some bonuses. I won't put Raquise in range because her defense is kind of weak. And then we're going to move Beowulf up to get healed. Also love points and all that Psh, nonsense. Psh, love. Who needs love? Apparently these two. Strength and luck. Not amazing. Alright, so we've got Jamcat. We've got everyone ready to go, but like I said, I just I don't know about those ballista. I don't like the, the the blind charge idea very much. Maybe I'll put someone with high defense up front a little bit. So if we do need to take a couple ballista shots, I do have people who can do it, but anyway, that said, let's uh Let's see how this works. Oh right, so she can't she can't even do it this turn. Great. You waste a turn just coming into the castle. I wonder... No, Deirdre, what did I say? I think Deirdre has a chance at 26%. So I guess we can keep trying. It's kind of wasting her aura book a little bit, which is not great because it's not cheap. But she could win this fight, is what I'm trying to say. Or wait. No, it's not 26. It was at 21. I should have gone in last turn. Oops. Alright, well that was dumb. My bad. I think what I need is um, Ethlyn with her heal staff. Because the heal staff heals like 16 or 17. That plus one round of regeneration should put her at a good level for fighting this guy. Or if it is 16, you know, 1 plus 16 is 17 and then she's totally fine. Alright. Well, that's that. Um, I guess... Lewin can slowly start marching to the front. I don't know what else to do with him. We could send Dew and Ira up. Like, I'm thinking, like, if you want Arena, you need to stay around here to do some Arena-ing. Having the Dancer Arena people's not really necessary either, to be honest. I was thinking, but yeah, it doesn't actually take a turn to, da to, to Arena. So I might just send Sylvia off with everybody to go slowly work their way up here. I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is just going to take forever. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can lure somebody down and get a little bit of action. Alright, here we go. So we'll be able to lure these guys down. This will be fine then. That way it won't be all Sigurd and Quan. Just mostly them. Also, I forgot to check if the Ballista have, like, uh, ammunition. If they only have a certain number of shots, then... Also, like, they didn't seem to fire this round yet. So maybe they are already out of ammo. Which would be kind of hilarious. All right, so the entire army's coming down. We've got ourselves a bit of a sword puzzle in there. Oh, no, there's the ballista. Okay. 
All right, <laughs> 10 damage from Ballista, give or take. Okay, can we, can we check the state of this? Uh, it looks like they might just have infinite ammo. Interesting. Yeah, because I guess enemies don't really get durability on their weapons. Also, don't forget, charging into this guy, he'll put people to sleep. So I think actually, you know, as much as I said I could just charge in here, it's no guarantee because he could have just put Sigurd to sleep. So I think I had to lure these guys out. That's got to be the only smart play. Um, you know, theoretically, eventually Aaron might be able to kill those Ballista, but it would take quite a while to position her, so... Uh, now, she could use a better weapon. We don't have any available right now. Slim Lance is pretty nice, though. It's our first Slim Lance. It's uh, half the weight of a normal Lance for a little bit less damage, I think. But that's pretty good. Especially with Pursuit. It's nice to have some speed. So, anyway, let's see how she does. There isn't anything to buy, right? She can't use axes. The only thing in the Pawn Broker is the Return Ring, I think. Oh, the Armor Slayer. She could use the Armor Slayer. I guess. But that would be for... There's only like one enemy that's got a... Uh, heavy armor that she might need it on. I'm sure she'll be fine against the Axe Boy. Right? Also, I almost feel like flying in an arena is cheating. Just personally. <laughs> I do like the uh, the sprite work on the Pegasus. I gotta say, that's pretty nice. The uh, Super Nintendo always had great graphics. Like, I'm... I'm for someone my age, my generation... I mean, I love this stuff. I actually like the looks of this more than um, some of the modern 3D Fire Emblems. Like, don't get me wrong, I think Three Houses looks great, but sometimes I really do prefer just the old school sprites. I think she'll be fine again. Well, she would have died if she got hit twice there, but she had 100%, so it was guaranteed a uh, three-hit kill for her. All right, come on, Aaron. Speed and luck. I mean, that's pretty standard for Pegasus, I suppose. But I would like you to get some strength. All right, here's the, the bottleneck for a lot of people. She's fast. She's got weapon triangle. She's got pursuit. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. Alright, so she's making it further than a lot of people now. Now the next one is the uh, the armor, right? So theoretically we could buy the armor slayer for this round. But I don't think it's necessary. Plus that would give her weapon triangle disadvantage. Now she's only doing 8 damage. Unfortunately she dies in 2 hits. Ouch. So she needs to dodge at 50-50. And she, how many hits does she need there? Oof, I didn't save it or anything, but that was my mistake, I guess. Let me just see here. How many hits do we need? She does 8 damage, 57 HP. Oof. She needs 15 attacks? No, she needs 8 times 6. 48, 54, 7. She needs 8 attacks. 8 times 8, 64. Oof, that's probably not going to happen. Well, I'm just going to, because I don't know the math exactly, I'm going to see how much damage the um, Armor Slayer does. I might not, like, I might just revert this because I don't want to waste the money for no reason. But I'm curious if this would give her a chance. Now, she's at 1 HP, so keep that in mind. But would this do enough damage, even though it's got half the might of a Slim Sword and less accuracy? <laughs> is this, like, does this do enough damage to make up for it? 17, uh, definitely did more, 38, oh, she can three round him, actually, this is great, all right, perfect, armor slayer for the win, all right, well, that, that was worth it then, 5,000 gold to get one kill, but still, that, you know, actually, it might be not a bad weapon for her, because, um, normally, she'll want to use her slim lance, but she doesn't do a lot of damage, so against people with heavy armor, like, you know, armor knights, she'll now have an option. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, all right, we're definitely going to want to use the lighter weapon for the for the uh, the mage, though. All right, we'll see how she does. She has decent resistance, but this guy hits pretty hard. She still dies in two hits. She kills in... Uh, oh, she's one strength low of a guaranteed win here. She needs another dodge. 
Well, she needs a dodge. So she got a little bit unlucky. She got hit twice at 56. Did she miss one of her attacks? Yeah. She did not dodge and she missed once. So that was like ultimate bad luck on a fight she probably should have won at full health. But now she needs to dodge both and not miss. It should still be possible though. Oh no, right. She... It wasn't... Right, she does... Yeah, so she needs two dodges to win. She can do it. It's a one in four chance, practically. One in four. One in four. One in four. One in four. There we go. It only took ten tries or whatever. Who kept... Who, who counts? Who's, who's keeping count? All right, she got some defense. That's okay. She, she really would use some strength, though. But now she's got more defense than Noish and Alec. <laughs> or at least Alec, anyway. Uh, all right, I, I bet you she's not going to be strong enough to win this final round, but we'll try it out at least once. So she actually, it just comes down to luck, but the enemy's only got 22%. Of course he hits her on her second hit. She's actually got, I would say, good odds to win there. Never mind, I thought it would be bad odds. Amazing. All right, Aaron gets the clear without too much fiddling. Pretty happy with that. Magic and defense. All right, she's just going to be a tanky Pegasus. Why not? Cool. All right, well, let's repair up a little bit because I used up that Lance in the arena. And uh, that'll do. Cool. So she definitely made some money, and uh, I'm actually kind of happy picking up the Armor Slayer with her. So good. Let's go. That gets her a, just a couple level ups. So, um... She joined at, like, level 6 or 7, I think. That just helps start c catching her up a little bit. She's got a fairly long way to go to be, you know, level 20 promoted unit. But, uh... I think I like her. Um... I don't know what weapon I would want to give her over the Slim Lance. Because... Oh, she could use a Brave Lance. That would be ridiculous. Where's Finn? Because it's only B? Oh, yeah. She'd be pretty good with a Brave Lance if I want to pass it over. She doesn't really need an Iron or a Steel Lance because the Slim Lance is probably better for her. Although the plus four damage on Steel might help because she's got low strength. I mean, I say low strength. It's... It's... it's like... Where's Noish? Noish has 12 strength, 10 defense. Alec has 13 strength, 9 defense. Her strength is 11 and 11 defense. She's not even weak, really. But uh, she's also way faster, so she's got that going for her. Okay. Um, also, I kind of mispositioned here, but just so you know, Lewin is going to make friendly, friendly kissy faces with uh, with uh, Aaron. So that's, that's on the agenda. So I'll move these guys up. I don't know if they'll ever make it to the front lines. Uh, I guess I'll just... I don't know. Sylvia can move, I guess. I feel bad that I've got this... Uh... Well, I was going to try the arena with her at a certain health, right? 21 or something? Yeah, okay. We'll just leave her here for now. Um... Like I was trying to say here, I feel bad that I'm not really using my dancer to any use, really, on this map. Like, she is really good. Like, in that choke point, she'd be very, very powerful. Um... Because she could, she could stand somewhere in here. Like, let's say we killed, you know, four guys. And I made a little square. One guy, one guy, one guy, one guy. And then I could put her in the middle. Dance. We get four more moves. Now, it probably doesn't work because she died a Ballista. So in that sense, maybe I don't really need her there. But normally, you want your dancers right behind the front line to, to sort of rush them through. Alright, so basically, I think the plan now is to pull back to out of Ballista range. And let these guys come to us. And um, that means we're going to need two different people where um, Lex and Raquizies are. So we're going to pull back a little bit. Make a little bit of space. Okay. So then we have to decide who we want on the front lines to handle uh, mostly sword guys. Once, once these guys are out of the way, they'll be able to, to attack. Um, you could, Finn's pretty good. I'll put Finn up here. 
We'll give him, uh, actually the javelin's nice because then if he, if the archer attacks him, he can counter. And I guess I could do the same thing with Quan. I'll be able to heal him. I could heal him if I want. Uh, the problem with healing right now is it's not Ethlyn. So if I do heal, she would have to end her turn in range of the archer. Anyone else? No one else has a javelin. She'll be fine. Famous last words. But no, I mean, one shot from the air, the archer is not going to kill her, right? Like, I should have done the math first, I know, but let's see. Uh, Aideen has four defense and, uh, I think 12 speed effectively. So she outspeeds him by a fair amount. And 12, uh, eight, what did I say? Four defense? Sheesh, getting old. Goldfish brain. Uh, 20 damage minus four is 16. Yeah, there's no way. Even if she got doubled, it wouldn't kill her. Okay, then we want Sigurd back to provide, uh, support bonus. Requisies in range for support as well. Yeah, everything's pretty much set. Medir is supposed to be making friends over here, so let's do that. And, uh, cool. No, um, well, actually. Yeah, why not? Haha, <laughs> you got stuck in the ravine. Sure, the, you know what? Actually, this would be a pretty good spot for Medir, right? Medir and Ethlyn just moving over, taking ranged pot shots, and then cantoing out of the way of the ballista. That's not a bad plan either. That's that would work. I mean, Medir will be fine down here doing the canto tricks too. But it's kind of neat. You know, they've got their ballista on one side. I actually kind of like this layout. Like we sort of have the high ground on one side, but it's pushed back a little by ballista and silence. But because of horse powers, we can just move over, shoot, and get out of the way, which is pretty darn cool. I could do the same thing with Quan or Finn throwing javelins as well, actually. Neat. Alright, so they did go for Aideen, no surprise. She didn't even get hit. She does get 20% evasion due to all the uh, the buffs nearby, so... I don't want to know the exact... We could look up her avoid or something, but she's pretty safe, I think. Yeah, so the Myrmidons all have Pursuit. I believe it's a class skill for Myrmidons. It's not really like a, a personal skill, like a unit skill. In fact, if we're talking about inheritance for um, for the children's phase, um, class skills don't, they're not inherited. It's only personal skills. So I guess, I'm not 100% sure, but for instance, you noticed how Ira and Holland both have Pursuit. I don't know if they personally have Pursuit or if it's just a, product of their Myrmidon, so they get it. Um, that might be something to factor in if you're playing along. We'll let these two spend a bit of time together. Oh, there should be uh, more chit-chatties, right? Sigurd needs to talk to Lewin. Aaron needs to talk to Sigurd. Sylvia wants to talk to Sigurd. And Alec wants to talk to Sylvia. So yeah, I should get these people moving in the f moving up to the lines at least slowly. Meanwhile, Sylvia, what did I say? Sorry, I, I always forget. I don't write these sorts of things down. I think I said I want to go back to the arena with her at 21, which is next turn. Because I think he does 20 damage, right? Yeah. So she needs one more round. Deirdre needs one more round of healing as well before she will... Um, before she'll be ready. I kind of feel bad. These two are really not getting utilized very much this fight. Oh, uh, well. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Definitely a few other people. All right. So how do we want to handle this? Um, there's, there's definitely more to do. This might be our last round. Just another hour-long episode already. So we could take a shot here and get out of the way. That makes sense, because there's not a lot else she can do. Oh, was that a crit? That was a crit, Ethlyn! 
You monster! Her crit chance with a light brand should be... I don't know if it's a ta it's, it's skill, right? It's just 12%. She has a 12% chance to get a crit. It's not very much, but she got it. Okay. So, we are right on the border of the Ballista. Pull Aiden out of the way. Uh, we could do some warping experience. Maybe not yet. I wouldn't mind Azul getting some more kills too, speaking of people. Let's have Medir go first. Little bow duel maybe? Nah, that's kind of silly. We don't need to use the Brave Lance here. Um, Finn's pretty strong, so he can just double with the normal Lance. Or wait, he doesn't double, never mind. Oh, it's heavy. He normally doubles. I was just thinking, yeah, he's got Pursuit. He'll get two. No. Um, not enough speed. Effectively, one attack speed versus five. All right, my bad. Seventeen damage. That's perfect. There you go. And then Madeir can Canto out of range. And then maybe Azel can get a kill. Definitely. Okay, at least we get some of our not mounted units a little bit of play today. I know it's been almost all cav, all chapter. And now it's back to cav because they can do the rest of the work here. Um, I wonder if Beowulf can get a kill. He's got... 17 damage, but he's got Pursuit and a cost, so he gets two attacks for sure, and maybe an extra. Probably not, though. He's probably going to do uh, 34 damage. I would really like to get him some experience. Can Sigurd weaken it enough? 12, 22 damage, that's a kill. What about Iron Sword? 16 damage times two? Okay. Here we go. We're using Sigurd to weaken stuff, finally. It's about time. <laughs> Alright, this way Beowulf gets to do something useful, finally. I mean, he's got an awesome name, so I'd like for him to be, like, pretty awesome, pretty strong, Dragon Slayer kind of guy. But, I also need to send him to the arena, so I am going to probably want to warp, you know, send, I want to use warp on him eventually. But, you know, maybe not just yet. I don't know if Noish can get out of there from this far away. One, two, three, four, five. But a lot of roads. Almost entirely roads. He might be able to canto out. There's a mage. We gotta be careful about the mages, actually. I didn't really anticipate the mages. Yeah, hold on. Um, Yeah, the mages are going to hit pretty hard because we have no resistance. Now, what kind of mages are they? Fire? So they're going to be very slow mages. They're all going to have negative speed. Uh, alright. So, kind of forgot about that. My bad. They can't canto. The worst would be two hits. Well, I guess Quan could take three hits. Four resistance. What are we looking at? 16 damage times three would be bad. Yeah. Hmm. If I kill this guy, then Quan could kill one probably with a uh, Silver Lance, because there's a lot more damage than the Javelin. Just in one shot. I'm gonna try to use Noish to kill this guy. Well, wait. He can't kill the guys. He can't kill people. He just does some damage and then that's it. What about, what about Brave Axe? He's got a chance. 
he doesn't really take any damage, so let's see how it goes. Come on, Lex. Come on, Lex. Yes! Alright, you made this a lot easier. Thank you, buddy. Good job. And he can get out of the way. Now, what we do is we slay a mage. This way, only two mages can hit someone, and that's theoretically not going to kill anybody. It's a, it's a Ankylo theory. So that doesn't account for the archer. The archer might just go for Azel. And I guess two mages could attack. Could both be... Is Azel dead here? Am I am I gonna have to reset? Six resistance. He's gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, unless he dodges. I mean, their accuracy is pretty amazing. Well, it's not ideal. <laughs> Everyone's at good HP, but and I, I I weakened the forces as much as I I think I could. I don't really think there's much else I could do other than charging forward. Um. If we charge forward, we have to be able to withstand a lot of ballistas. So remember, essentially, um, 17 damage. Everyone's got two strength, I think. Oh, this guy does one extra. So, one at 18 and four at 17. Um, which is fine for some people. Oof, none of the guys I've got, though. Just trying to, to bank on the odds. What's better, taking the Ballista or risking the Mages? Um, for instance, Holin with 11. If he runs up, he can take... Assuming both Mages died, he would take at most... 17 minus 5, 11 is 6 times 4. Is uh, 24 damage plus 7 damage. So he takes 31 damage. He could survive a round of Ballista. but And this guy doesn't seem to move. So we don't really have to worry about him. I don't think. Um, the problem is that's what we get at 11 defense. What if we talk about... Yeah, so Jemka and Holin could probably survive about. about. Now, depending on where we end, Noish might not be in range of all five. If I can pull him back to here, he'd only be in range of two or three. Uh, Rakwazi is probably a bad idea. Unless... Miracle Sword, I assume, gives you Miracle. Which means if she gets down to 1 HP, she's fine. So you could try to do the math to set that up. Alec would be the weakest defense that might be in range. He's got uh, 9 defense, so it's 17 minus 9. Sorry, give you guys. 8 damage times 4 is 32, plus 9 damage is 41. So if he gets hit by them all, he's dead. Uh, so we would have to use him to attack and get at least out of range of one, which means he has to end his turn there. Can he get that far? There's a lot of roads, especially if I go to that tile rather than that tile. I think I've convinced myself to try this rather than risk the mages ganging up on one guy. I'm not 100% confident. Actually, this is good. So he's only in range of two. So assuming we can kill the mages, he'll be fine. Um, I said Jemka can survive, survive a full round. Noish is a little bit lower defense, but he can also can to... Oh, prob part of the problem is who can you hit? Yeah. <laughs> We're actually not going to be able to kill the back mage unless we use Noish. And he's probably not going to be... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Problems. Well, we're sort of committed at this point. I wonder if we kill the archer, if Holin would be able to move into that tile. Six movement, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no way he gets nine squares. Well... It'll be our first reset in a while. <laughs> it's still, like, we still have a chance. It comes down to if we take every single hit that comes our way, right?
That's a good level up. I'll be, it'll be a shame to miss it. Also, that resistance nice if the mage survives. Uh, there's still Noish. So can Jemka safely kill a mage? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Now, if he gets his Adept, he's fine. If he doesn't, he's in big trouble. Ah, uh, jeesh. Requisies, I don't think she can survive a full round of uh, Ballista, though. That's the problem with her. Unless you want to do some miracle math. So, uh, theoretically, 8 defense, depending on the order, uh, 17 damage. So, she would take 9 damage, 9 damage, 9 damage, she'd be dead. Uh, if she takes a little bit of damage first... Uh, there's probably a way to do it, but ugh. This is not good. Two mages can kill people. I think I've messed it up. I think we're probably gonna have to restart. I think this- I think I underestimated the amount of damage these mages could do. And they have very high hit rate, so... I think, I, I think I've messed it up now. But we'll see what happens. We're basically... The only way we're getting out of this is if we kill this mage with an adept. Or dodge the counter and kill him. Like, I, I, this is like the best odds we've got, I think. And it's still not very good. Yeah, he did not get an adept. He did not get a dodge. So this is bad news bearers. That's unfortunate. And there's just no way... Noish... I mean, what are the odds of him getting a kill here? Uh, he would need a cost to proc, which is possible, but... Again, this is... I'm kind of like... I'm out of strats now. I've got nothing but skill percent chance to activate. So he'll take a hit... And that puts him below 25, so there's no way he could get a cost. So yeah, that was actually silly. <sighs> so the mage can kill Jamka or Noish, and the Ballista can as well. Uh, I, you know, if I hadn't moved him back, we could have tried Requies with the Miracle Sword, but the Ballista would kill her. Dang it! Well, shucks. Let's just end turn, see if we get a Miracle. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to reset, though. Oh, what? He ran away? The damage? Okay, okay. <laughs> Noish, you need to dodge a couple of these. Uh, he's got, what, 10 defense, so it's 7 per hit. He needs to dodge, like, 3 out of 5. 2 out of 5. No, he needs to dodge... He can take 2 hits, so he needs to He already dodged 2. He should be fine. No? No, he needs to dodge 1 more. Okay, 1 more dodge. Oh, he shot Holland? What? Ballistas? Ballistas are bad. Alright, so the RNG gods are on our side. We dodged... Did we dodge every single Ballista shot at 50-50? One left. One left. We have four for four. <laughs> we dodged five for five at approximately 50%. And the mage ran away. Okay, there's no... That... I shouldn't have survived that round. Someone should have died, I think. I didn't really plan for the mages effectively. And... This was a total gamble that shouldn't have worked. I'm going to end the episode here because, yeah, that was ridiculous. Uh, don't play like that. That's that's definitely not safe strat. Um, I think what we should have done in retrospect is pull back a bit farther and have... Just keep the, the archers and swordsmen, you know, one at a time, pick them off with Quan or, or whoever. And then once we're a little bit more out of range of the Ballista, assuming the mages come out then it'd be a lot easier to just kill the mages quickly out of range of the Ballista, and we would not have had that problem. So we should have pulled back one more turn, I think, and then slaughtered them all. But, you know, I didn't get punished, so... I assume this guy's gonna try to get healed or something? Is there a healer? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, if I go all the way back to Chagall, I could get healed by, uh, the, the, by Chagall. If I go all the way back to Augusty, I could get healed by Chagall. That's crazy. All right, we've got to end the episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, that was that was crazy. I, we shouldn't have. We should not have survived that. That's crazy. All right, that's it. 
Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Yada yada. See you next time.